So you guys, this week we're working on building this waterfall. We got fish and stuff back in, which Jack should have filmed, but he's still learning. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry guys. It's so hot. So hot. It's hot. Just hot. It's hot. It's super hot. Oh my God, it's so hot. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, guys, we're back at this project. Do I look sweaty? Oh my God. Maybe because it's 100 degrees outside. And you know how there's that feels like? We've talked about this before. Matt, what would you say it feels like? Uh, feels like a sauna, I'd say probably it's the closest thing. Says it feels like a sauna. Yeah. What he meant to say is it feels like 5,000 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hot. So we're back out here. We've got a new group of certified Aquascape contractors with us. Remember, all summer long, every week, we get another group of professional guys out here to help us. This week, we've got Matt right here, Hi, the yeah. man, his boy. <laughs> Joe or no, Dylan? Dylan over Dylan. there, and then we got Joe over there. And then Joe over there. So, Matt, tell us a little bit about your company. Yeah, so I run Nice Ponds. We're based in Sheffield in England. So uh, yeah, we've been, uh, well, I've been running the company for about four and a half, five years nice. now. So we uh, came out for Pondam only about, about four years ago. So it's, you know, first time back out here for a while, which is which is great, so. And so when you thought about coming out here and collaborating with us, what was your first thought when you heard um, our little advertisement? Yeah, I just thought it'd be great. Just great to see how you guys run your operation, really, and see, obviously seem to do do things very efficiently and stuff so i think i was just excited to see how you run things like how the machine works really so yeah awesome well hopefully we can get that yeah matt enjoyed the amenities over there at aquascape and uh i did yeah bit too bit too much smashed up his <laughs> shin a little bit but i'm glad he was enjoying the amenities so you guys this week we're working on building this waterfall last week was supposed to be build this waterfall but rain weather other obligations really kind of pulled us off of this job yesterday jack came out here snuck in this boulder that boulder we finished all the lighting we got fish and stuff back in in fact i think they're spawning they're back up into those areas and often when the fish go through a big temperature change like that even though we focus on trying to get them acclimated sometimes that two degrees temperature change really sets the mood so they're all in here chasing each other around you can see jets are working nicely we got the rest of our construction team back with us this week too super excited i'm excited but they're probably even more excited because they've been doing clean outs for the last two months straight and they're back out here doing construction which i think they love so much more maybe not when it's 100 degrees though i have no idea we'll see at the end of the day well hey guys stay tuned we're going to continue to build this waterfall and we'll see if we can't get up to the wetland excavation today would really be our goal It's so hot. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gay. It's super, super hot. Uh, everybody's just kind of in limbo right now. We might be calling it a day here pretty soon. Had a couple heat exhaustion type things, nothing to mess around with. So I think we'll we'll finish this, get fabric in, liner in, and then we'll see where we're at. Maybe a cloud will come, but I, I don't know. I'm not super optimistic about the cloud thing. You never know. Anyways, got some rocks set in here. I really wanted to retain the soil back behind this skimmer. A lot of times, if you bring a big slope down towards the skimmer, 
over time that thing will want to like contort a little bit and so just kind of shoring stuff up back behind it leveling the soil off back behind that will keep that skimmer box intact we've got one of our pumps running here so we have a five to nine in here it's feeding that waterfall over there oh yeah life back into the pond the fish continue to spawn all over the place we've actually got our wetland area dug so you can see Luis and Jack down in here Luis is just stabbing the earth for some reason not sure what he's doing angry it's hot he's delusional whatever this is the trough for the centipede there's our snorkel you can see how we had to recess that back in here the reason I put the snorkel here versus over here is I always like to bring the plumbing in on the high side so I have the opportunity to bring the plumbing in over the top of the liner bringing the plumbing in on the low side usually means I have to do a bulkhead fitting and it gets all messy I also know that over in here I've got some waterfalls and stuff and I was worried about the snorkel cap getting in the way of progress with building that waterfall over here this waterfall is already set water level is based off of the height of that which is about five inches higher than this shallow shelf right in here so I wanted five inches of water in through here so next they've got everything squared away in there we got 12 aqua blocks going in centipede snorkel they're gonna put fabric down put the liner down then put more fabric then aqua blocks then rocks cobbles then two inch gravel then one inch gravel and then we'll be done and we may or may not have to see the liner right here in between i really tried to say that with as, as much enthusiasm as i could but it's hot <laughs> it's just hot all right guys stay tuned i think the next time i come back is i'll just show you well, let's just do a time lapse of how that whole wetland goes in and then we'll come back and see what you think hmm. did you oh my god it's so hot <laughs> what happens in my head when it's 105 yeah we have to seam so here we go seam then we'll do aqua blocks the rocks the gravel fabric aqua blocks rocks gravel stay tuned wetland filter is coming It has been a while since I gave you guys the last update, or I should say Brian gave you guys the last update. We made a lot of progress. The last couple days, we've kind of been hammering away at this wetland. So as you can see, we got both our uh, waterfall rocks in. That's all done. We got our wetland in, and we pretty much got all of our wetland rocked in. Tomorrow, we're gonna come in, do a cobble beach right here. We're gonna move that guy out because this guy is just looking a little too straight here, this edge. So we're gonna kick that guy out a little bit, do a cobble beach between the frame rock and our other rock in the wetland, gravel all this, and then start working 
working all the way up to here. So right now we have all the slack in the liner back here. We're gonna pull this back to our overlap. Waterfall is gonna be dumping into this kind of plunge pool and then splitting between this rock here that we placed. Then as you can see this path, this staircase coming all the way down. We're gonna get a Y kind of coming across the stream, bouncing around. So it kind of gets it a little bit more interactive. And then as you can see, we will meet it up with this existing path that we will be working on tomorrow as well. So the goal is to kind of finish up that path up tomorrow, coming up into the into the stream that's gonna be sitting up here. And, oh, look, it fell. And then we'll get our waterfall set in pretty much right where the bucket and piece of outcroppings are at. So wish us luck and stay tuned and we will see you guys tomorrow. Well, we have water running, sort of. We got our wetland plumbed and finished rocking in 100%, so we are pretty much done all the way uh, past the wetland. We got our big, tall waterfall facing this gorgeous deck that they always are out on every weekend, Alan was saying, the homeowner. And we, uh, we have everything done in the wetland. We are working our way up to the top. We still gotta go up another probably 15 to 20 more feet. Right here is gonna be super cool. We're gonna have a nice, shallow pooling area with two more waterfalls coming off that hill. So it'll be a nice little nestled back into the hill. Don't into the shallow pooling area and then coming swinging around this curve here and then going down into this plunge pool here so everything turned out really nice i'm really pleased how the rocks are turning out on this project and i cannot wait until we get up into this section when we have that path coming down and meeting the path that i am currently on which is going to be right here going all the way up to all the way up top so stay tuned we'll be back out next week hopefully the goal is next week is to finish this and to hopefully start that section over there have a good weekend guys bye